My time at Beacon, huh? Man, where do I even start? Training to become a huntsman was crazy every step of the way. I gained a lot at Beacon, more than I could ever ask for. As a student, I obviously got smarter, stronger, and more skilled. But most importantly, I made friends. Partners, people I could count on. They were like family to me, and if you ask those friends how they felt, I can promise you they would say the same thing. And sure, even though I gained a lot, there are plenty of losses. More than I could count, and each of them too devastating for one person to bear alone. But honestly, if I could go back and do it all over again, I wouldn't change a single thing. I must say, it's been entirely too long since we've hung out together. Yeah, it really has. We've all just been so busy. I know what you mean. The combination of homework, studying, and training tends to eat up your free time rather quickly. However, you seem to always have plenty of free time. What do you do to balance it out? Well, Port's class is super long and boring, so I do my homework from other classes during his story telling. That way, I can have some extra free time to study and train. But, wait. Isn't Port's entire class storytelling? Exactly. Would an X-Ray be annoyed that Vav chose to save Ash instead of his best friend? Yes, and he is! He's so annoyed that he severs the superhero duo and goes off on his own! Well, with his pet rock, but still! It not the comic called X-Ray and Vav, though? Do they rejoin later, or- Wait, did you say with his pet rock? That I did. Why do you ask? Why a pet rock? Couldn't he have gone and found someone else? Well, you see, X-Ray isn't very good at making friends. Vav is the only friend he's ever had. For reasons I cannot divulge for spoilers. Furthermore, why in the world did anyone think it would be a good idea to let the Mad King continue to roam free? It just doesn't make any sense. Eh, X-Ray and Vav tends to not make sense, but it's a great series. The characters are likable and well-developed, and the interaction between them is great too. I recommend you give it a read sometime. Huh. <laughs> I just might. You've got me somewhat interested. Great! Glad to hear it! Ooh, have you watched Red vs. Blue? My stance was drilled into my head by my instructors. It comes from a fencing stance, considering I use a rapier. I noticed that, actually. It looks to be a foil stance, is that correct? Yes, actually. Of course, I've made a few tweaks to better suit my fighting style. How about you? I don't think I've ever seen a style quite like yours before. Understandably so. Mine is a style of martial art that has been passed down my family line for generations. The odds of seeing my style anywhere else are nearly impossible. That's fascinating. Would you ever consider teaching your style to anyone else? Being a hunter is a dangerous job. With the great likelihood of death, wouldn't it be a good idea to make sure the style lives on? While that may be true, I'm only supposed to teach the style to my eventual spouse and my children. So, you'll teach Nora and your future children the style? Ah, <sighs> you do know we aren't together together, right? Are you sure? From how you two interact, you might as well be married. You know exactly how to deal with her at all times. Considering this is Nora we are talking about, that is no small feat. Nora and I have been friends for so long, I've just gotten used to her at this point. It's really not that difficult. Are you allowed to teach others how to deal with Nora then? I don't see why not. I don't suppose you'd mind imparting a few tips to me. Well, as I've learned, the most important thing to remember would have to be... No way! You thought Torchwick? Yep. He and a bunch of his henchmen just so happened to be attempting to rob the dust shop I was at. That sounds like a huge mistake. <laughs> you could say that. I kicked his henchmen's butts in record speed. I was all like... Oh, like, during the food fight? That was so cool. You were like a blur. You were pretty cool yourself. I never knew a melon hammer could be wielded with such skill. We've gotten way better since then. I bet if we did it again, Team Juniper would wipe the floor with you guys. I wouldn't be too sure. Team Ruby has gotten way better too. There's no way we'd lose. Well then. Since we both disagree, let's just settle this good old-fashioned way. Wait a second. You don't mean... Ruby Rose! I, Nora Valkyrie of Team Juniper, hereby challenge you and your team to a battle of pillow warfare. Do you accept this challenge? Oh no. She's not serious. Is she? <sighs> I'm afraid she is. Nora is always serious when it comes to pillow fights. 
Well, that's not good. I'm kind of afraid to ask, but why not? Well, you see... You do realize what you're saying, right? This isn't just a game. This means war. I am well aware of the implications. Very well. Ruby is too. Oh joy. I, Ruby Rose of Team Ruby, accept your challenge, Nora Valkyrie. Our team will gladly engage in a battle of pillow warfare. May the best team win. May the best team win. Team Ruby, arm yourselves. We have a war to fight. Here we go again. At least I won't get covered in food this time. This could be fun. That's the spirit, Blakey. This is gonna be awesome. Sean? <sighs> Fine. Team Juniper, assemble! Let's kick their butts. This is an interesting development. Just go along with it. It's easier in the long run. Whoa, what was that? Uh, it's probably nothing. Just go back to sleep. But what if it isn't nothing? We could be in danger. Well, what if it was nothing and you're getting all worked up for no good reason? Is more sleep really worth the risk? Absolutely, it is. Could you check it out? Just to be sure? Uh, sure, whatever. What do you say? It's just Team Ruby and Team Juniper having a pillow fight. From what I can tell, Juniper's kicking butt. Thank goodness. <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? We go back to sleep? You seemed pretty determined to do so a few seconds ago, so I doubt much has changed. Well, I was intent on doing so until a certain bunny woke me up. <laughs> right. Come on, Bun Bun, we're gonna have some fun fun. Let's teach him that coffee before bed is a bad thing. What? We can't just join out of nowhere? Why not? We'll show those newbies how it's done. But what about Yatsu and Fox? Just let them sleep. Hold on! Wait! <laughs> Dude! You're totally into her! Too Little Son must have had the opposite effect and fried that brain of yours. Bro, I'm not into her. How many times are you gonna say that? I just keep telling you the same thing over and over. Come on! You dig her like... <laughs> Too little son must have had the opposite effect and fried that brain of yours. Bro, I Time for some payback! Sea monkey style! Yeah! Wait, sea monkeys? <sighs> Just ignore it, Neptune. Peter? Ublek! St Dr. Ublek, are you quite alright, old fellow? You rascals! Let me teach you a lesson about respecting your elders! <sighs> Dr. Ublek, stop this nonsense at once! You know you should- Students, what on earth do you think you're doing? Team Ruby, you had no right in starting this mess. Team Juniper, you shouldn't have joined in and encouraged it. Neptune and Sun, you should be representing your school with pride and showing off their disciplinary, not your own mischievous habits. Coco and Velvet, you are second year students. You have to lead by example, not chaos. And don't even get me started on you. Linda, that's quite enough. Students, you'll now be required to leave the premises and return to your dorms. Quietly, might I add. But, Professor Ozpin, what about all this? Don't you worry about that. Our esteemed teachers will clean that up overnight, won't they? We kinda got our asses kicked. Our stanzas have gone in pretty... Pillow! <laughs> Dang it, Yang.